An effort to prevent a casino from being built in Pope County is building momentum. Channel 7's Brenda Lipinski is on your side. She talked with the organizers of that effort, and uh, Brenda, they've been at this for a while. Yes, Chris. In fact, the organizer I spoke to tells me that this is their third attempt to get this passed, hoping that this time will work. Back in 2018, the state of Arkansas passed Amendment 100, which allowed for the expansion of casino gambling in four counties, including Jefferson, Garland, Crittenden, and Pope County. But Hunt Sturitz, with local voters in charge, says a casino was never wanted in Pope County. Over 60 percent of our, of our residents in Pope County said, uh, you know, for a number of reasons, uh, we didn't think that a casino was right for our community. So his organization is leading an initiative that would amend the amendment, removing the authorization for a casino in Pope County. More importantly, I think to the rest of the state, is we also added a provision that any future expansion of casinos anywhere in the state would require a local vote before anyone could move ahead on getting a license for another location in the state. Noting regardless of his opinion on whether a casino should be built, the people in his county and others should have a say. And um, there's nothing to stop a casino operator from coming in, um, you know, gauging the interest here and, uh, and, and, you know, doing their own initiative to create a process that takes into account the voice of the local citizens. And now with the attorney general approving the ballot title, his organization will move forward to collect signatures. If we can get on the ballot, then there'll be a big campaign in the fall to, uh, to, to get our story out there. The organization will have until July 5th to collect over 90,000 signatures by July 5th to qualify for the November ballot. On your side, I'm Brenda Lipinski. Okay, Brenda, thanks very much. The application process for the Pope County Casino License has been held up in the courts for years, but it is now set to reopen as early as May.